mental health data is complicated and you need tools that can handle that complexity and that messiness. Once you have data, how can you actually use that to identify and deliver policies and practices that will promote mental health and well-being? I think we're just going to see more and more uses of data science and AI in mental health. So my name is Ekin Burukbaşı. I'm part of the Data for Science and Health team at Welcome. I think with this first Mental Health Data Prize, we were able to showcase how data scientists can apply their skills to mental health related data. By creating this funding mechanism, we literally mandated the use of existing data sources, which meant that perhaps some insights that were unlocked in these sources actually came to the daylight. Obviously, data is central to digital tools and to um, you know getting good information about mental health and mental health intervention targets. Probably what excites me most is the potential for accelerating that process of having an idea about what might be a potential intervention target and actually getting to that intervention, that treatment. I think anything that can make that process faster is going to be beneficial for the mental health of young people. We brought together people with backgrounds in mental health, school health improvement, web tool development. We've worked with schools, with young people, with um, policymakers and practitioners. For me, that's a really exciting context in which to work. I think it's a really exciting way of solving complex problems. Healthcare in general and mental health in particular have huge amounts of data that is stored in text form. It's very hard to kind of analyze the huge mountains of data that come out of mental health research. So we're using natural language processing and machine learning to match items from these different instruments and work out where they fit together. There'll be more explorations of what the technology can achieve and how it can add to the research that the psychologists are doing. Even before the completion of the data prize, the wider mental health research community have taken up these tools and they started using them and it's already been making an impact. We went and designed a second mental health data prize, which is tailored to the priorities of the African continents. They can use their skills and collaborate to come up with digital tools that might be relevant to tackling anxiety, depression and psychosis in their local context. And I find that opportunity um, really exciting.